Hey there, everybody. This is Brad Bourne. I'm the creator of the Fancy Pants Adventure, and this is the official Snail Shell Golf Guide for World 2. Now, first off, I'd like to go through a few different tips on actually controlling a shell. Now, if you just run into it like that, you're going to pop it up into the air. And if you want to keep more control over it and it's on the ground, if you slide into it without holding an arrow like that, it'll stay on the ground. Now if you slide into it by holding down, you're going to pop it straight up into the air. It's a pretty good way to keep control over it. You can actually juggle it just using that method. Now another way to pop it up into the air is just by jumping on it. It's good for if you're on a platform and you want to get it to a higher platform. Now as for hitting it in the air, if you're holding a direction when you hit it, it's going to lean towards that direction. So if you're trying to just juggle it and keep it right above you, make sure you hit it in the air while you're not pressing left or right. Alright, so here we are in level 1. This one's not meant to be too hard. You can see the snail shell while you're beginning there. So first off, you just need to get to the snail shell. And what I like to do is just let it roll down there. Once it settles into place. There right, now from here on you're pretty much just chasing it. Um, it's gonna stay at the top. It'll be good if you can keep it at the top. And actually there's a few places, other places I can get to. Should be alright. And as long as you can keep it somewhat at the top, you can just kick it over to the here. Alright, so here's level two. It's a bit of a throwback to the art style of World 1, just a bit less messy. So to get to the snail, first you're going to need to know how to wall jump. Just jump at a wall and hold the direction towards it. Pretty easy. But in this level, everything's covered with ink, and if it makes any sense, this wall is actually slippery. So when you hit it, your up and down momentum is retained. So if you're moving upward quickly, you're going to keep going upward. All right, and there's a snail. Now from here, all you have to do is get the snail all the way to the end of this level, which I'm going to skip ahead to. All right, so here we are at the end of the level. What you're going to want to do is actually go upward with the snail shell. If you can see the little notches in the wall. I'm losing control of the shell here. Alright, there you go. So if you look, you can see little notches in the wall. You can actually hang on to those. You're going to want to get the snail upward, either by jumping on top of it, or getting really close to it and jumping, like I did right there. Alright, so we get the snail up to there. and just be very careful, take it very slowly and just go upward and there it is alright here we are at level 3 <laughs> my pants match the ground um, yeah, so this level was used in the demo a while back, like a year ago actually. And I also used this level uh, as the beta that I ran on my site. And after a while, the beta testers started challenging themselves to get the snail shell all the way to the top of the level. So you can blame them for this hole. Now, the first step is just getting the snail shell up to that little curved platform right there. And then, once it's up there, you just pop it up into the air and then headbutt it up to that top level right there but you can't jump high enough on your own so you're gonna have to be running up that slant a bit when you jump alright and that was the hard part just uh... go get jump in the cannon and shoot yourself all the way to the left and hold down so that you'll slide once you hit the shell and I'll just pop it straight up into the level above that Once you do that, just finish the level and 
Knock the snail shell right over to the left there. Alright, and here's level 4. This is a pretty simple one. Uh, snail's pretty close to the end of the level, so let me jump there real quick. Actually, here's the hole before we get to the end of the level. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that little ow is me and my mad voice acting skills. And there's a little guy. Just make sure you don't knock him down that hole all the way to the beginning of the level. You're going to have to restart the level to get him again. Uh, so I do it. Well, here's what I do. I'll just knock the snail shell up here, go all the way right, and then let him fall all the way down again. Alright, here's uh, level 6. This is actually my favorite level in the game. Um, oh yeah, something some people were asking me about. In the ground, uh, to the right some... Where is it? Yeah, like right there, it says my name. Uh, I think when I was drawing this level, I just thought of the first level of World 1, and it actually said Brad, and some people were trying to guess what it said, so... Um, yeah, my name. Uh, the candlestick, uh, it's an old nursery rhyme. That's really about it. I was probably just trying to confuse people. Okay, once again, we're at the end of the level to find the snail. Um, yeah, I wonder where that leads. Hmm, platforms. Yeah, I think I was going to take that out, but I didn't. So now there's a big scary face in my game. Okay, snail. But first, this is an even easier way to get to the snail. Just jump down right after the exit door. And just knock the little guy off, chase him down, all the way to the very beginning of the level, the bottom, all the way to the right of that, is where the hole is. Where is this now? There it is. Just keep knocking him downward. There you go. Awesome. Alright, we're at the last level, and here's a bit of trivia. This was actually the first level that I started working on right after finishing World 1. I started drawing this, and spent quite a bit of time on those pillars and vines and stuff. Alright, so here's the snail. Ah, can't really miss him in this level. Just knock the snail shell over to the left there. And we'll roll right down. All right, and give the ball a little tap to the right there. And the ball's home. All right, well, um, here we are at the end. And before I go, I figured I could leave you with one tip for the final boss, the angry rabbit. If you're having problems jumping on the spiders and getting hit by snails and other things, uh, try sliding into everything. You can run and hit down, or hold down while landing, and you'll kind of shoot forward. And it just keeps you moving and makes it a whole lot easier. Alright, well this has been the official Snail Shell Golf Guide. Uh, again, I'm Brad Bourne. You can visit my site at bournegames.com. Thanks for listening and be fancy.